Hey guys, what's going on? Just um, gonna try something different here. I'm going to run through the lunar subterrane with Edward Standalone. Uh, let's take a look at his equipment. So as you can see, I pretty much got him decked out pretty nicely for what it is and in his stats. So I don't have any other way of recording aside of putting my camera right in front of the fucking TV. So let's just see what we can do with this. All right, well, Lunar versus Edward versus Lunar Subterrange. Let's do this. If I don't say much, I apologize. I will be talking as much as I can, though. However, it's just a matter of, you know, due to certain things going on, I may have to concentrate on this game. I already killed off the other party members because I couldn't obviously get Edward to go into this alone. And the other thing that happens here is the fact that I have already max leveled him. I already went through the um, Lunar Ruins and everything else. And I'm really doing this video for a buddy of mine, too, because he was kind of curious. He's because, you know, like everybody, everybody thinks, you know, Edward, the absolute worst party member of the game. And I've never done this before, so let's give this a shot, shall we? So let's go. I'm just going to go straight to Zermis and whoop his ass. <laughs> or at least attempt to. I'm going to put it on auto battle because I really don't have any reason to, you know, do anything other than just kick everybody's ass. <laughs> so let's do it. <laughs> Alright, sorry I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my camera real quick to make sure my screen was decent enough. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be close enough, I hope. Or at least, you know, close to comfort. I ain't going to run from any enemies except maybe in the bigger, in the final area. Shit, past the door. Go figure. I can't see where the broke dick, so here we go. So you can see that Loki's Lou is just a bad motherfucker. <laughs> Game? Took that from H.C. Bailey. <laughs> but I, whenever since I watched him and doing his Let's Play videos, I started doing the exact same shit. I ain't kidding you. Oh, and by the way, I use profanity. <laughs> Come on, Cletus. Wait for it. Really? Try again. I think I was the right way. I don't remember. Oh shit. We're okay. Here we are. See how blind I am? I had to actually sit up quite a bit distance away from the TV, so I apologize because I want my camera to be first up front. So if I miss the obvious exits and stuff, I apologize in advance. It's probably going to take a little bit more of your time than you'd like for it to. So yeah, about that. Bye. Get off my grill, bitch. Let's go in here. Damn it. I got it on like auto dash, so that's kind of why I'm like overshooting everything because I just want to hurry up and get it over with. I already got that bad, gee. So I want to go over here. Let's go in. Well, let's kick these guys' ass real quick. This guy's just a beast, and he's in back row too, so that's all back row damage. Which the harp, I believe, is a long range weapon anyway, so what difference does it make? Okay, where the fuck do I go? I think it's this way. Yeah. I am going to save when I get to the um, other save point, just in case. I already been there. Oh, you suck. Yeah, well, you're dead. So when I get to the other save point, I am going to save, and by chance I do die out of random. I am going to revert back to that save point in an edit. So if it just turns into like multiple runs you can understand why now so I'm just letting you know now this guy's actually being a pain in the ass suck it bitch ha ha ha
Jeez, really? There we go. And I got an item, but I didn't even know what it was. I paid it, I clicked it too fast. Ah, shit. Overshooting everything. That's not what she said. Game? See, he's not doing too bad on his own here in the Lunar Subterranean. So here's the save point I was talking about. Well, in that first door right there, anyways. Like I said, I already cleared the game, so all I gotta do is go straight to Zeramis. If this turns out to be a good enough success, I might actually, you know, do... I already had that saved. Alright, let's go. Let's go see what happens when I do this. Do I think I can beat him by myself? I'm pretty sure I can. I got enough elixirs and expotions. If I ever have to cure. But basically, Zero Miss is, um attack is probably going to do pretty good damage to Edward considering he's only got 5600 HP and needless to say I gotta see which direction I'm going here okay this way I don't know if it would do good against the behemoth though so let's find out well it'll take care of this guy real quick <laughs> I remember back in the original days I used to have a hard time facing those guys now red dragons don't do shit for justice Yeah, that's right. I just took out a red dragon in two hits with Edward. How do you like me now? Okay, Behemoth is a different story. Oh, wow, he's actually doing pretty good. You mean to tell me he can barely even hurt Edward? Behemoth, Behemoth are the guys I usually have the most trouble with. <laughs> Jeez. This dude is stronger than I realized. He just whipped a behemoth's ass. And hardly lost any HP doing it. Now I know I'm going to start getting to the area where monsters are going to start becoming harder and harder and harder to deal with. Ugh. Thank you. That's right. That was all Edward. And I'm going to keep bragging about that until I get my ass handed to me and I have to start the save file over. Ah, oh, shit. Which way do I go? Oh, it's over here. I think. Okay, I'm a little, I hate this part because I always get confused. Uh, really, game? Okay, let's see if I can beat this guy. Oh, wow. Really? Seriously? Okay, I guess it wasn't worth a bad time. Yeah, see that there? That's kind of hard to see for me because I can't see well. Okay, so I got to face a behemoth and a red dragon, so let's see if I can do it. I'm pretty sure, considering the genius has only lost a very few amount of hit points. If my face is getting in the camera, I apologize. Probably ain't. Probably is, hell, I don't know. Get off my screen, bitch. Hey, cool. Oh, wrong way, genius. There we go. Now I'm in the last area of the lunar subterranean before I go into Xeromus. Please don't let me get into a fight. Damn it! I just realized something. I am going to have to revive all my characters and kill them all off again because when I get to the end...
Yeah, when I get to the end, it's gonna they're gonna revive everybody. I just not thought of that. So I'm gonna have to take some time to kill them off. Okay, this guy's just boring me now. I'm actually just gonna run from this. I'm bored. All right. So here we go. Edward versus Zeramus, possibly. Really? Nice. Now what I may do here is I may cut out and edit to the uh, boss itself. Okay. So I'm back, and um, so here's the plan. As you can see, I got Cecil at critical and Redward at full. And the reason I just skipped to this is because, like I said, they revive everybody up to full tilt. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Cecil use the crystal on Zeramis to have him transformed. And then I'm going to kill him off with Edward. So it'll be Edward versus Zeramis, just like I like it. Okay, so let's do this. So there's the crystal being used. Right? I gotta, I gotta, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what the hell he tries to say, but anyways, there's all the nice, beautiful formation, and then now we kill off Cecil. Goodbye. All right, now it's me versus you. So let's get started. And then just put it on fast forward until the first big bang. And now I turn off fast forward and be prepared to use a po an X potion. Try to keep his um, HP at max. See, the plan here is to keep his HP pretty close to max. And the reason being is because whenever he... Okay, I got a couple of rounds. I'm gonna get one more in. And then I'm just gonna use an elixir and make sure I use an elixir. Okay, here's that. Okay. Now I gotta get to him one more time and I'm gonna use same damn thing just happened last time. But this time I came prepared. Yes, I say that because I actually did die last time. And, uh... Yeah, so this is basically a re-record. I'm not going to lie to y'all about that. But I just cut them together. Ooh, nice. He's going to change his battle plan here in a minute. Come on, Edward, you got this. I'm doing this for the sake of this this uh, run through of the game. I'm not too worried about running out of elixirs or anything like that. See, so he uses the same general battle, battle plan. If this was basically me versus the whole party, I would have him killed before he would have the first big bang even in. See this flare. See, flare doesn't even do that much damage to him. Come on, really? I'm gonna go ahead and get a potion, a, a uh, X potion in, because I have a feeling that it wouldn't be a bad idea. And I was right. <laughs> so let's see here. Come on, can we kill him? Okay, this is going to be the last big bang before I kill him probably or that, or I have to cure myself first, then kill him. He's close to death. He only has like 128,000 HP, something like that. I don't know, but we're about to, f I'm not founding out the hard way. Use a black hole. I'm going to use an elixir. And we'll be right back to full tilt. And go back on the attack. 
See, and you wonder why I wanted to use an elixir. See, Flare didn't even do that much damage that time. And keep on attacking until he dies. Which is not too far away. Yep, because he's casting Meteor. He's already changed his battle plan. So can I do this? Oh, yeah, because Meteor doesn't do that much damage. Shit, it missed. <laughs> okay, he's dead. He's mine. So he's going to keep doing that, and it's either going to miss or do very minimal damage. That's pretty badass when Edward can dodge Meteor. And there he goes. We killed him. That's right. Edward just whipped Zeramis' ass ball single-handedly. Well, of course, with Cecil, with the exception of giving the crystal to him, but there it is. That's right. Edward Solo just beat Zeramis. Final Fantasy IV. This is the PSP version. If you would like to see a full playthrough of Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy IV The Interlude, and Final Fantasy IV The After Years, check out H.C. Bailey's channel. He has a beautiful playthrough of really nice quality. And he actually, I believe, uses a DVR to record the PSP. And it is full screen. Nice in HD. And also very good commentary. A little better than I am. A lot cleaner than I am. I use a lot of profanity. But needless to say, you can also see the little cutscenes that happen in between the uh, editing points that I did. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little shindig of a video I had a lot of fun making it and if y'all would like I could do a let's play of this of my idea but if I did I was thinking about doing a let's play a few bard version of it basically where I just max level and just tear through the game or something simple or silly like that a little different from the original let's plays but for the most part if you guys enjoyed what you saw let me know, comment down below, subscribe. I might do something else. I do have Final Fantasy 3 for the PSP as well. I do not have any real means of recording other than just sticking the camera up to the TV. So, just let me know what you think. I will holler at you guys soon, and you take care. Peace.